Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this animated slide in PowerPoint. So let's start. Add a new slide, go to view tab, enable grid lines and guides. Go to insert tab, select shapes and select freeform shape. Now we are going to create a zigzag shape here. From the top, make it like a saw design. And cover the, the left slide completely. Now right mouse click, select edit points and you can see the black dots there and make it a curved connection, smooth point. You have to do it for all. And then you can select the pointers and you can adjust it. Click that one and make sure that it's in the same position. You can increase or decrease the size depending on your requirement. Bring to the equal line. You have to spend a little bit time uh, on this so that you can get a perfect uh, curve shape here. It's kind of looking like a waves. Right mouse click again, edit points and you can reduce the, the depth. And you have to do the alignment once again for the corners. That's what I said, you have to spend a little bit extra time here to make sure that this comes perfectly. Select the object and you can zoom that, zoom the slide and make sure that the object is connecting to the, the, the corners, it should cover the slide. And you can remove the outlines. Now you can select the object, press Ctrl D to duplicate 
and you can just change the color to any color you like for example i'm just using the light blue color and i'm giving the outline as a white outline and then you can send this to back format send to back and you can position like this because the, the corners are not aligned properly you can adjust the corners if you see any problem and you can change the background by right mouse click format background and I'm going to give a gray color here and remove the disable the grid lines you can change the color I am using something a uh, very dark blue here kind of a navy blue color and give the shadow effect go to insert shapes and I'm going to select the oval shape here just click it and by holding the shift key you can increase the size you can increase the size so that it will fit perfectly into that and you can make it no outline and give some shadow effect and change the color to any color you like and send to back go to insert again shapes and then select under block arrows arrow pentagon and you can draw the arrow make it no outline send to back align it so that it covers the, the circle and you can give some more shadow effects to this as well I'm going to change the color you can choose any color you like so in this case I'm going to give some a dark shade for this but maybe I will change this one later on and then you can insert some uh, titles here I'm just saying option you can change the font I have used Helvetica bold and make it white font and place it to the center of the the arrow and press control D and I'm making it A option A and increase the size of the font and place it here and send to back I can change the color to orange, light orange 
and I have copied some icons which I got it from the, the nounproject.com and place it here. And you can group these objects without the icon and right mouse click group it or you can press ctrl G press ctrl D to make the duplicate and bring it down so I'm going to create three shapes option A option B and option C I can ungroup it and I will change the color according to the my taste and requirement. give some nice colors so that uh, it looks more vibrant and you have to make sure that if you're presenting on the projector it should complement it's not it should not you know uh, mixed or blend with each other so make sure that uh, this is giving a complementary colors to each one And you can place the icons for the, the option B as well as option C. And then you can group it once again. Send it to back. But here I forgot to group the B. So again, you can just send it to back and you can group it once again. So while doing this one, I forgot to select the B. Similarly, you can do the same thing for option C. Now it's time to add the text. I have just copied the text from my previous slide. It's simple. You can just add the text and press Ctrl D. You have to make sure that you have to select the right uh, uh, object. Otherwise, it may go here and there which you can see here the moment I'm selecting it is selecting the main one so just press ctrl Z and undo and do it again just change the captions to B and C go to insert shapes I'm just going to add a line if you're not getting a straight line just delete it and do it once again you can press the shift key also to get the straight lines but again instead of wasting time I'm just adding one more and you can give the the arrow type and arrow type and begin arrow type with the small circle press ctrl D and bring it down now it's time to do some animations go to animations tab enable the animation pane and select the first option and say fly in and effect I'm going to make it from left double click the effect the animation and 
change the settings you can make it fast instead of very fast and you can see it's giving some bouncing effect there you can reduce the the effect go back and just bounce and reduce it yeah i think this is perfect similarly we'll do for the options fly in this could be from right yes and make it with previous and you can give the same effect smooth start and smooth end and make it fast as well so if you play it this is it looks like this perfect now instead of doing the again 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 animation i'm just going to select the object and i'm going to use animation painter select that one which you want to do and paste it on the object or the text this is going to reduce a lot of time of your time and for this also I'm just going to give some animation maybe I'll give the wipe effect and this also you can make it after previous so the final result looks like this option a option b and option c so that's it for me friends hope you like my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.